welcome to another episode of github copilot in today's episode we are looking at test data generation unit testing is one of the main activity for a developer most of the time the method defined or the function he developed will have multiple conditions it may have some inner conditions or loops with the inner conditions various conditions as part of a single method so the unit test needs to address all these multiple variants or it should be tested with a various kind of data most of the time we go with the data driven unit testing approach and data driven unit testing we generate the test data which cater to various conditions or boundary conditions negative conditions which we want to ensure that our code is complied with or the our code is aligned to the various business requirements that is what we pass as the conditions to the function so let us see how copilot can be used for test data generation in data driven approach we need test data which cater to various conditions to test the unit test most of the time we go with a csv file or an external data source altogether so here we are trying to generate test data in a csv format for a different methods with the help of copilot let us start with a simple calculator function we have a sort a day as part of this one let me ask copilot to generate the test data for in a csp format for this uh, sort array and it is check whether sort array is working fine with the various inputs so it's created a set of inputs but all the arrays contain some number of elements and it's sorted in a proper order so if you want little more accurate or little more test cases which brings the boundary areas you can ask um, copilot with the detail information like a generate test cases which meet array with single element no element negative values zeros etc give a little detailed prompt which will help you to bring the test data associated with that here again the copilot is trying to generate the test data aligned to what we asked so it, now it's contain there is a input with a single element and blank also there is a blank array passed and the input contains negative zeros and the positive cases as well it looks like a proper data for testing our sort array functionality i'm going to another function here there is a evaluation of grade based on two elements and there is if condition and switch in between so let us ask copilot the same question generate the test data for my method in csv format so evaluate grade contain two inputs and there is no specific out, yeah outputs are returned so copilot generated the grade as different grade a b c d whatever the grades mentioned here and after f there is no grade default for that we added e as the next grade which will come to the default area true and false values for the owner status if it is true it goes to the initial if blocks and switch statement and what's the output we are going to get if it is false it comes to here and cover all these aspects going to a little more complex scenario of file management here i need to read the content of a file it required a file path as the input parameter we will take the help of copilot to see how it generate the test cases so there is a file path and expected output in the txt format that we can pass it as it's expecting the complete text content of the file so that's why it's uh, given the files as the input and output if i need a little more detailed one which covers the io exception 
let us go to the is prime there is multiple if loops inner loops and all let us see how how copilot will be able to generate the test data here so give the same prompt there is no difference in the prompt unless you need to prompt copilot to generate test data pertaining to a business condition you can just give the input format and you can see that input output is came a set of things which cover the 0 1 and all this if else for loops are covered in this test data going to another one where we will have a array list as input with a element it's nothing but checking whether this element exists in array and if it is there get it back so let us see how copilot is going to generate the test data for this particular function copilot is generating the csv file it's not really generating the csv file it gives the explanation what exactly each of these columns mean so the numbers are there so it comes as a inputs array and the element and expected output if the number exists here the output is 1 if it is not exist output is 0 so entire elements uh, different conditions are there negative zeros positive numbers and everything is covered as part of this test case so this is how you can generate the test data for the unit test especially the data driven unit test case you can either pass this test data as an inline csv source or paste it into a csv file and supply as part of your unit test scripts so copilot will be able to help you in generating the test data as well as generating the unit test cases thank you